Barcelona. And our hotel rooms just seem to be going from interesting to more interesting. Again, let's take a look at the suite with a view, a garden view. This is probably the worst though. It's clean, it's fine, but it's probably like the worst of the four rooms we've been in so far. So here we go. You enter and there you go. That's everything. That's all you need to see. Bed, TV, chair, Erica, and the bathroom. It's fine. It's nothing great. It's manageable. It's in a great location though. Las Ramblas. We're right here on La Ramblas or Las Ramblas. So you really can't beat the location. You got a metro stop right across the street. So we are here in Barcelona and we are gonna go out and explore. Personally, I'm not that big. Like as long as the place is clean. Um, you can never really expect a large bedroom anywhere in Europe. So really, you just try to, you just try to shoot for places that are clean and well managed. And um, keep in mind that it's just a place to rest your head. But I can't tell you how... When we see that cruise ship on Wednesday, it's going to be a real welcomed sign. It's going to be a real sight for sore eyes. Nah. It's gonna be fun. Here we are, we're at the top of Las Ramblas. Well, not quite the top. The square is up there. We're gonna start working our way down. There's a water fountain there, which has been around for over 100 years. Supposedly, if you drink from that fountain, it means that you'll be back to Barcelona again. Where we are in the uh, Bucaria, La Bucaria. It's a market here off of Las Ramblas. Mm. What do you think looks good? Lots of tapas, huh? Oh, baby. 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 So we just stopped in here to a, uh, a place on Las Ramblas. What's the name of this place? What's the menu? No, okay, vamos a ver. So, Choquito. Choquito. Tapas. It's on the... Uh, right on the Ramblas. Right in the middle. Very so We got our little tapas. We get some mozzarella, some sausage. What's that? Um, pork dish. Pork. And then there's a quiche. So how was it? Did you enjoy it? What was that? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, he said thank you. <laughs> so, here we are. At another stop. Right? Another one. We're gonna have sangria now. Man, it's been a long day. But now we're getting a sangria and a chocolate croissant. How is it? Good? Have you been having fun? 
As you can see, from the uh, street entertainment, we've been having a great time just enjoying our drinks. <laughs> Sitting out here on Las Ramblas, watching all the entertainment. Watching, watching guys, watching guys get rejected. We're going to the National Palace, heading up the hill. I don't think we're going to make it in because we're kind of short on time. So here we are at the top. Well, not quite the top. We're kind of halfway. But I think this is as high as we're going to go. We've got some great views. You can see the old bull ring there off in the distance. It's kind of unfortunate that it's not a bull ring anymore because they banned bullfighting in Barcelona so they put a dome on there and they use it for miscellaneous events. I saw a, a motocross event taking place there in the next week or so. Where are we going? Montserrat. Mon yeah, no? Montserrat. Oh look it up there. We, um, we have just arrived here in Monastrat. Monastrat. Montserrat. 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 And uh, we're going to take the cable car. So we purchased a ticket. There's two options. You can take the train to here and then take the cable car up or you can continue taking the train and it takes you right up to the top. So we thought the cable car, the cable would, be car would be exciting. Yeah, it's more a, little, a little more scenic. So we're about to get into a little cable car and work our way up and uh, see what this is all about. There's supposed to be some incredible views up there. Uh, this is a, um, what, a monastery? Yeah, one of the oldest monasteries that was originally built in the 1800s and then destroyed and then rebuilt again. Just uh, not more than like 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. So there is, uh, it's supposed to be fairly interesting the fact that you have a little city that's kind of built into the side of a mountain up here so we're going up the cable car going up like three or four thousand feet supposedly I don't know maybe it's two thousand feet I heard about 2400 2400 mm -hmm. So we finished with our half day trip here to Monastrat. What do you think, Erica? Montserrat. Montserrat. You like it? Yes. It was interesting. It's incredible. The, the, the no, it's not called Ministry. What is it called? Yeah, Ministry, right? Yeah. So we're going to head back to Barcelona. I just noticed, well, I heard this music coming. And then I noticed the sign for bar. We have like 15, 20 minutes until the train gets here. But look at that, there's a full on bar over there. I don't know if you can hear their music, but he's playing this Rick Ashley song. Really popular in the 80s. It was actually one of my mom's favorite songs. Do you think, is there anybody watching this video that has ever done any base jumping? Is this mountain tall enough? Is this, uh, See, I think the height would allow you. Maybe not. I don't know. 
I'm not even sure how many feet you need. I'll put a link in the bottom of the video though for one of my friends, Troy Hartman. He's a stuntman slash uh, base jumper. And uh, I'll find one of his videos and put a link at the bottom. If you want to subscribe to a really cool YouTube channel, subscribe to his channel. So we wanted to come down and check out the beach because a lot of people have talked about this beach, especially that it was basically a shithole 25 years ago. And uh, the whole area has been revitalized. Olympic Village is just over here to the right. And uh, a lot of that has been turned into housing. There's a lot of new office buildings in the area. But now that we've seen it, and we know how lucky we are to live in San Diego. Right, Erica? Erica, right? I mean, because we all know that Guadalajara has the best beach ever, right? Yeah. So we're walking just uh, just east of the Ramblas. We came across this cool older neighborhood. Isn't this in the Gothic area? So here we are, eating again of course, right? Because all we do is eat. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the restaurant in the back, but we're at Irati Tavern in the front, which is a very unique tapas place. It's been featured on several American travel channels. So give us a breakdown, Erica. We basically come, there's different choices. You pick whatever you are like. Pretty much you don't know what anything is, so I've been asking every five seconds what everything is. So you eat it and then you save your toothpick and then this is the way they're going to charge you. Each piece is like about two euros, so whatever you eat is times. And at the end they just yeah. count all your toothpicks up and then they pay the bill. And you have a fairly large selection of different tapas. 